This video demonstrates how to attach the Dr. Preload 900 series tool and prepare for bearing adjustment. For full process documentation, please see technical publication TP-10121 to reference photos and diagrams. Keep in mind that Dr. Preload is intended for use only with conventional hubs and to remove all bearing spacers from pre-adjusted hub assemblies before making adjustments. Use Dr. Preload only with temper lock spindle nuts and do not attempt to adjust a unitized hub assembly using the Dr. Preload system. Before beginning the bearing adjustment, inspect all wheel end components and repair any damage to the spindle threads. When preparing the wheel end for the bearing adjustment, ensure the hub is fully seated before making any adjustments. Make sure to thread the correct sized temper lock nut onto the spindle. Using a bar and socket, tighten the temper lock nut to drive the hub solidly against the axle. Then, loosen the nut one half turn. Finally, hand tighten the nut until it first touches the face of the outer bearing. Adjust the yellow T handle so it is loosened to the point where it completely covers the threads on the shaft of the spindle adapter. Hold Dr. Preload by the gauge guard handle with one hand or, alternatively, by cradling the main body of the tool in the palm of one hand and the circular key finder with the other hand. Locate the position of the keyway on the spindle. Rotate the circular key finder until the key is approximately lined up with the keyway. Using a sweeping motion, guide the spring-loaded load arms around two flat sides of the nut. Be careful to avoid the points of the nut for secure attachment. Then slightly rotate the circular key finder until the key is engaged in the keyway. The inner surfaces of both two load arms should be flat against the sides of the load arm stops. If one or both are out of alignment, slowly push and pull the load arm assembly along the shaft until the tips of the load arms spring into their proper position behind the temper lock nut. Check to be sure the load arms are properly located in the back face relief of the temper lock nut and making contact with the outer bearing cone.